friends! Welcome back to my channel! Do you know about the winter season? No! Let me tell you all about it, in a way that's super fun and easy to understand. Winter is one of the four seasons that happen during the year. Imagine the year as a big circle with four slices, and winter is like the slice where everything gets cold and covered in sparkly snow. Firstly, let's talk about the weather. In winter, the air outside becomes cold. It's like nature is wearing a frosty jacket. You might need to wear warm clothes like a fluffy jacket, a hat that covers your ears, and cozy mittens to keep your hands warm. Now, let's talk about snow. Snow is like a big, soft blanket that covers the ground. It falls from the sky in tiny, delicate ice crystals and turns everything into a winter wonderland. You can play in the snow by building snowmen, having snowball fights, or making snow angels. It's so much fun! <laughs> winter also brings some special holidays. One of them is called Christmas. During Christmas, people decorate their homes with colorful lights, shiny ornaments, and a big green tree. Santa Claus, a friendly man with a white beard and a red suit, brings gifts to children all around the world on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas! <laughs> the season when some animals take a little nap called hibernation. They snuggle up in warm places to sleep through the cold months and wake up when it gets warmer. Speaking of animals, some birds fly to warmer places during winter. They do this because it's too cold for them to find food, so they go on a special vacation to places where the sun is shining and the air is warm. But my little friend, the best part of winter is snuggling up with your family and friends. As a result, winter is a chilly and charming season full of snow, holidays, and special moments with the people you care about. It's a time to bundle up, play in the snow, and share warmth and joy with others. I hope you have the most amazing winter full of laughter, love, and magical adventures. We hope you enjoy the video. Now select the next part to explore the summer season. And don't forget to like share and subscribe hello there little friend welcome back to our channel today we will explore everything about summer season do you like summer season summer is my favorite season summer is a super duper special time of the year when the Sun shines brightly and everything becomes warm and colorful let me tell you all about it in a way that's fun Firstly, we will discuss about the warm sunshine, a big happy ball of light in the sky. That's the sun! During summer, the sun gives us extra hugs, and its warm rays make everything feel cozy. It's like nature's way of saying, time to have some fun in the sun! In summer, we get to wear cool and colorful clothes. <laughs> Say goodbye to heavy jackets, and hello to comfy shorts, flowy dresses, and cool t-shirts. It's like dressing up in a rainbow to match the vibrant season. Another thing about summer is the bright blue sky. You'll see the sky wearing its favorite color. It's as if the sky is a giant canvas and the sun is painting it with the happiest colors. You might even see fluffy clouds floating by, like cotton candy in the air. Have you noticed the flowers in gardens and parks? They're like nature's fireworks, exploding with colors. Roses, daisies, and sunflowers show off their petals, making everything look like a magical fairyland. 
Summer is a time when busy bees buzz around, collecting sweet nectar from flowers. Butterflies flutter by with their beautiful wings, adding even more colors to the sunny scenery. It's like a little insect parade. Another amazing and my favorite is picnics in summer. Grab a blanket and some yummy snacks because summer is the perfect time for picnics. Imagine sitting on the green grass, enjoying juicy watermelon, ice cream, and maybe even a sandwich. It's like having a tasty outdoor feast. Friends and family, enjoying on sunny beach. If you're near the ocean, summer means beach days. Feel the soft sand between your toes, listen to the waves singing, and maybe build a sandcastle. It's like having a sandy playground right by the sea. This brings along barbecue parties and grill time with it. Sometimes we cook our food outside on a grill during summer. The smell of delicious burgers, chickens, and veggies sizzling is like a tasty summer symphony. It's time for a barbecue party. Summer is a time when families sometimes go on exciting vacations. Whether it's a road trip or flying to faraway places, it's like going on a grand adventure filled with new discoveries and lots of laughter. The beautiful thing of summer is, when the day is done, the sun paints the sky with the most beautiful colors, pinks, oranges, and purples. Watching the sunset is like saying goodnight to the day in the most splendid way. And one more thing add, the love of summer is long days and short nights. The days feel longer and the nights come later. It's like the sun wants to stay up and play a little more before bedtime. More daylight means more time for fun. We can plan fruit parties in summer because summer fruit parties are like a rainbow on your plate, full of juicy strawberries, sweet watermelons, and fruity fun. It's a tasty adventure for little taste explorers. And I think we might be forgetting something. Summer is a time of harvesting crops. Some families have gardens where they grow their fruits and vegetables. Imagine picking ripe tomatoes, crunchy cucumbers, and maybe even some herbs. It's like having a mini farm in your own backyard. So, my little friend, summer is not just a season. It's a delicious journey filled with the tastiest treats and the freshest fruits. Whether you're biting into watermelons, enjoying a popsicle, or sipping on lemonade, each taste is like a bite of summer magic. Summer is a time of warmth, sunshine, and exciting adventures. It's a season filled with laughter, tasty treats, and the joy of playing outside. I hope you have the most wonderful summer, full of happy moments and lots of sunshine. If you want to know about the next season, be sure to watch the next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Hi, my young explorers. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we will discuss about spring season. It's like the most amazing time ever when the flowers wake up from their winter nap and burst into colors like magic. Imagine fields full of bright pink cherry blossoms yellow daffodils, and purple crocuses. It's like a fairy tale garden coming to life right before your eyes. Spring is when bees buzz around collecting yummy nectar and butterflies flutter by with their colorful wings. Can you imagine chasing butterflies in the garden and watching bees buzz from flower to flower? It's like having your own magical butterfly parade. It brings the sun out to play and having a lot of rainy days after the rain, we get to see rainbows in the sky. Imagine running outside to feel the warm sunshine on your face and spotting a rainbow stretching across the sky after a spring shower. It's like having your own rainbow adventure. It is the season when baby animals are born, like cute little chicks and fluffy bunnies hopping around. Playing in the gardens during spring is the best fun ever. Springtime in the garden is where dreams come to life, and every moment is filled with wonder and delight. <laughs> with the warmer weather, spring is the perfect time to get creative outdoors. Gather your family and friends for a barbecue or picnic in the park. Dot grilling burgers, munching on sandwiches, 
and enjoying delicious food together in the great outdoors. It's like having a tasty feast surrounded by the ones you love. Created on April 22nd each year to raise awareness about environmental issues and promote conservation efforts. It's a day to appreciate the beauty of nature and take action to protect our planet for future generations. Easter is a special holiday celebrated in the springtime, usually in April. It's a time for families to gather, decorate colorful eggs, and go on Easter egg hunts. We also celebrate the joy of new life and hope, just like the flowers blooming in spring. As the flowers bloom in spring, the air fills with the sweet melodies of chirping birds. Can you hear them singing their joyful songs? Spring is like a symphony of nature, with each bird adding its own unique tune to the chorus. Close your eyes and listen to the music. We hope you enjoy this video. If you want to know about next season, select the next video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Goodbye. Hey friends, today I am going to a supermarket. Are you ready? Let's go. Can you help me in buying my things? I want to buy some chocolates, fruits, and oils, but I don't know the direction. Let me ask from the shopkeeper. Great choice. Here are some fresh apples. Anything else you're looking for? Can I also get some chocolate bar, please? Absolutely. Here's a delicious chocolate bar. Anything else on your list? No, that's all for today. Thank you. Now pick some oils and chocolates for me. Good job. Now, go to the counter and then pay the bill. Good job! Now pick the shopping bags and then go back home. Finally, I am back to my home. Can you keep these bags in the kitchen? My mom is making food for me. Now, I am going to the kitchen. To have food, you also have your meal. Then we'll meet in the next episode. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, so you can enjoy more interesting videos like this one. Hey friends, today I am going to a supermarket. Are you ready? Let's go. Can you help me in buying my things? I want to buy some chocolates, fruits, and oils, but I don't know the direction. Let me ask from the shopkeeper. Great choice. Here are some fresh apples. Anything else you're looking for? Can I also get some chocolate bar, please? Absolutely. Here's a delicious chocolate bar. Anything else on your list? No, that's all for today. Thank you. Now pick some oils and chocolates for me. Good job. Now, go to the counter and then pay the bill. Good job! Now pick the shopping bags and then go back home. Finally, I am back to my home. Can you keep these bags in the kitchen? My mom is making food for me. Now, I am going to the kitchen. To have food, you also have your meal. Then we'll meet in the next episode. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, so you can enjoy more interesting videos like this one. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is my first day at school. On the first day, we did various things at school. Now, you can see for yourself. Good morning students, welcome to our school. I hope you all are fine, and you like this school. My name is Sarah, and I am your class teacher. I will teach you English. It's my introduction. Now, you guys give me your short introduction. Start from there. Firstly, you give me your introduction. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ali, and I'm five years old. I'm very excited to be there with all of you. Well done, Ali. Next one, please. Good morning, everyone. My name is Leah, and I'm six years old. I am very excited to learn English. Well done. Shall we start reading? Yes. yes. So, today we will learn about fruits and vegetables. Listen to me for now and write only when I say. The first fruit name is apple. Normally, it is red in color and much sweet in taste. It grows on trees. We can add apple in salad. It can make us healthy. 
Can you tell me more about its uses? Yes, we can make juice and shake with apple. Well done, Leah. Anyone else? Yes, we can use it in baking and making sauces like apple mint sauce. Well done, Ali. You all are absolutely right. We can use apple in different ways. Now, it's time to go home. But first, write in your diary. Your homework is to write any two uses of orange. Now pack your bags and let's go home. We'll meet tomorrow. Now we are going to home. Let's meet tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching our video. If you're interested in my whole school day, select the next part of the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can enjoy more interesting videos like this one. Welcome back, friends. Today is my first day at school. And now it's 7 o'clock. It's time to wake up. Ah, how difficult it is to wake up early in the morning. Now it's time to brush your teeth and wash your face. I think I should go outside and say good morning to everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, my daughter. Have a nice day. I think you are very excited to go to school. Now grab your bag. You are running late. Now I will pick up my bag and then go for breakfast. These are my siblings. Say hi to them. Now, it's time to say goodbye to my parents for school. This is bus stop and I'm waiting for the bus with my friend. The signal is red right now, so we will stop here, and when it turns green, we will go. Now the signal is green, we will go. We are on the way. We all are very excited. We are in front of our school. Thanks for watching our video. If you're interested in my whole school day, select the next part of the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can enjoy more interesting videos like this one. Hey, my young explorers, welcome back to our channel. Today, I am on the space. My name is Sam and I will tell you what is space and what kind of things are present on the space and learn up to 20 objects in the solar system. So, let's go. Do you know that there is a big sun prison in the space? Sun is a big burning star of fire. And you know what? It is very hot and no one can touch it. It gives light to Earth. There is also a beautiful and attracting moon prison in this space. It has a little glow and have different shapes like these. Shapes. It is a dusty ball of rock. It completes its one round around the Earth in 27 days. It does not have its own light. It takes all the light from the sun and become brighter. It is very small in size as compared to sun. There are more interesting things in space. There are eight planets in the space, which revolves around the sun, and they never forget their paths because they all move in an orbit. The line you see are known as orbits, and in simple words, we can say them path or away, and this all system is known as the solar system. The first planet in the solar system is Mercury. It is the smallest planet in our solar system and much closer planet to the sun, but it is actually not hottest because it has such a thin atmosphere which does not effectively trap in the sun's heat. The second planet in our solar system is Venus. It is a bit smaller than Earth, and it is the hottest planet in the solar system. Venus spins backward compared to Earth. The next planet in the solar system is Earth.
That is the beautiful and one of my favorite planet. It is the densest planet in the solar system. It is unique because of having good climate. It is very suitable for human life. It takes 365 days means one year to complete one revolution around the sun. The next planet in the solar system is Mars. Mars is usually known as Red Planet. Because of its red color, it is a rocky planet. Mars has a thin atmosphere. Mars has two moons named Phobos and Deimos. Jupiter is the largest planet of the solar system. The next planet is Saturn. It is also known as the gas giant. Its ring system is incredible. It includes dust, dot ice, and rocks. It is the second biggest planet in our solar system. It has about 150 moons around it, and the largest moon is called as Titan. Uranus is thought to very, very cold planets, with temperature to about 224, but in negative value. The other last planet is Neptune. It is called as the Ice Giant. It takes 165 years to complete a one round around the sun, and it has about 14 moons. This information is much for today. Now, I am too tired and going back to home. I hope you enjoy. If you enjoy, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can enjoy more interesting videos like this one. Bye-bye. Hello there, my little friend. I am again in space to explore more things present in space. Space is like a big playground full of amazing things. Let's explore some of them together and I'll make sure it's easy to understand. The first thing in space after planets is star. I mean stars. Because they are non-countable, stars are tiny, shiny night lights in the sky. They're like the glitter on a magical blanket. Some stars are big and some are small. They twinkle and make the night sky look so pretty. Our sun is a special star that gives us light and warmth during the day. The second thing is comets. Yes, comets. Comets are like space snowballs with tails. They zoom through space leaving behind a sparkly trail of dust and ice. Comets are shooting stars, making a wish as they fly by. The next thing is galaxy. Galaxies are like enormous cities in space. They're made up of billions and billions of stars, planets, and other cool things. Our home, the Milky Way, is a galaxy. The other one name is the black hole. Black holes are like vacuum cleaners in space, but much cooler. They're super duper strong and pull everything close to them. Even light can't escape from a black hole. The other name is space rocks. Yes, space rocks. Asteroids are big space rocks that travel through space. They can be small or as large as mountains. The other thing which is present in space is nebulas. Nebulas are like space art. They are colorful clouds of gas and dust. Think of them as the paint on the canvas of the universe. Nebulas come in all shapes and sizes, and they create beautiful pictures in the sky. And the interesting thing is satellite. Satellites are like friendly robots in space. They zip around Earth and other planets, taking pictures and sending signals. Some help us with TV and Internet, like little space messengers. The next friendly thing is astronauts, like me. Astronauts are super cool space travelers. They wear special suits and helmets to float in space and explore other planets. It's like having space adventures as friends. And now I am going to tell you about a unique thing. You know what? There are also some unidentified flying objects, UFOs, present in space. UFOs are things we see in the sky that we can't immediately identify. They might be shiny lights, strange shapes, or things flying around that don't look like regular airplanes or birds. And last one is spaceships. Spaceships are like magical rockets that zoom off into space. They have pointy tops and powerful engines to push them up, up, and away from Earth. Astronauts climb inside and wear special suits and helmets to stay safe. That's information is too much for today. Now, I am going back to my home. I hope you enjoy with me in space. Now take care and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn about fruits. So, let's talk about some yummy fruits. Apple. Apples are round and can be red, green, or yellow. They're crunchy and sweet. 
You can eat them raw or make juice or pies from them. Orange. Oranges are round and orange, of course. They're juicy and tangy. You peel them and eat the slices inside or make fresh orange juice. Grapes. Grapes are small and come in bunches. They can be green, red, or purple. They're sweet and juicy. You can eat them fresh or even freeze them for a cold treat. Strawberry. Strawberries are red and heart-shaped. They're sweet and juicy too. You can eat them just as they are. Put them on top of cakes or make delicious strawberry jam. Watermelon. Watermelons are huge and green on the outside with pink or red juicy insides and black seeds. They're very juicy and sweet, perfect for eating on a hot day. Blueberry. Blueberries are small and round and they're blue. Surprise? They're sweet and a little tart. You can eat them by the handful, put them in pancakes, or mix them into yogurt. Pineapple. Pineapples are large and covered in rough, spiky skin. Inside, they're yellow and super sweet with a tropical flavor. You can cut them into slices or chunks and enjoy them fresh or even grill them for a special treat. Mango. Mangoes are oval-shaped and come in shades of yellow, orange, or red. They're juicy and sweet with a tropical taste. You can slice them and eat them as they are, or blend them into smoothies for a delicious drink. Peach. Peaches are round with a fuzzy skin that's usually pink or yellow. Inside, they have juicy, sweet flesh. You can eat them fresh or use them in pies. Kiwi. Kiwis are small and brown on the outside, with green flesh and tiny black seeds inside. They're tangy and sweet. You can cut them in half and scoop out the inside with a spoon or slice them up for a colorful addition to fruit salads. Raspberry. Raspberries are small and round with a deep red color. They're juicy and have a sweet tart flavor. You can eat them fresh, add them to yogurt or oatmeal, or use them in baking delicious desserts like tarts or muffins. Avocados are like nature's butter. They have a bumpy dark green skin on the outside and soft creamy flesh on the inside. Avocados are super versatile. You can scoop out the flesh and mash it up to make creamy guacamole, spread it on toast, or slice it up to add to salads or sandwiches. They're not very sweet like peaches. Instead, they have a rich buttery taste that goes well with lots of different foods. We hope you liked the video. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.